Živjo, moje ime je Gašpar, sem razno študent, star sem 23 let, prihajam iz Slovenije, študiram mednarodne odnose na univerzi na Malti. Hello again. Um, so far we have seen how Erasmus students study and what they do in their free time. And now we're gonna go and um, visit Gaspa, who shows us how living looks like in Malta. Let's go and have a look. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Inside. Very good. Hi. So let us start with the rooms. These are the rooms. There is no light, so you can just take a really good snapshot of it. This is the room of my flatmate. This is the living room where we have all the, our usual parties. The dining room, the kitchen. The bathroom without the light as well, my friend, because two days ago the light went out and I didn't buy the new one. So, you are living in Malta. Can you tell us something about it? Like, um, how actually did you find this flat? Um, I went, uh, when, I come to, when I first came to Malta, I, had, I didn't have, I have any plans where to live since I had my brother here and I could a little bit wage with that. However, I went with my uh, friend to, uh, long story short, I went with my friend to a bar on a drink and there I met my flatmate. I said, I need a flat and he said, I have a flat, let's, and then everything was going. And uh, how much do you pay here, if I can ask? 300 euros plus expenses. Also, that's actually a good price for Malta, right? Sure, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. So that is also the average price that students pay here if they come? Yeah, I would say that that's yeah. our average price with people I talked about, other students, they have around 280 to 320. I would say people on both sides. People as positive and people as negative because I had um, the first 14 days I came here, I had some bad experiences with people about being an outsider, go back to home, what are you doing in my country. But I also, on the other hand, met so many nice people. Um, but other, other than that, I would say very negative is uh, the Maltese laziness, if you want, and their driving all the time, being very nervous, shouting at each other. They don't have, they're not, I mean, to some extent, they're not really polite. I would say, especially when it comes to the how to treat people who are not in their closest circle. But positive, apart from the people, I would say, I mean, the atmosphere of living in the island, um, worrying less, having good weather. And how much do you spend on food? Well, on food I spend quite a lot because I like to eat healthy. Do you cook also? Yes, every day. That's why I spend a lot because, I mean, you can take the pastas, things from the microwave, which are quite inexpensive, but if you want to do something good, for example, fishes, meat, vegetables, you always need to pay a little bit more money. So the food is quite expensive. Then some of the money goes, of course, for the alcohol. Not for drinking, of course, but for, uh, for, for cooking. Uh, yeah, yeah, for cooking and when you cut yourself, you need a little bit. What were the challenges you faced uh, living alone in Malta, in a new country? <laughs> okay, uh, well, the first one was how to do my laundry, how to use the washing machine. I never need to do that back at home. Of course, cooking, these things were known to me, but laundry, no. The second thing was ironing, which is another thing I never do, did at home, which I still hate, actually. You shouldn't be afraid, that would be my advice if I need to put it in a one sentence. Because that is a big problem with people. People go somewhere and they're afraid. Or they are even afraid of going somewhere, so they don't decide to go. But you need to embrace this fear, if I put it a little bit more poetically, and use it to grow up as a person. Mm -hmm. 